Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, as we continue looking at some feature highlights of Windows 11, one of them that I will be um, kind of critical at for the moment and hopefully this will change over time is the widgets. So when you install Windows 11 for the first time you've got the widgets icon on the taskbar and it brings you a variety of widgets. So widgets are if you have a smartphone or a tablet you probably already are very familiar with widgets which are kind of small apps that are running within the screen of your phone or your tablet uh, in Windows 11 they added a widgets side to things uh, this is actually what's replacing uh, the news and interest that used to be in and uh, that is actually in Windows 10 so if you have Windows 10 you got a news and interest panel that is really focused on just news and weather basically but in Windows 11 they wanted to add okay let's do more than that uh, so the default panel of course gives you all sorts of uh, information news weather and of course there's things that you can add now the promise of the um, widgets was that third-party um, apps would actually be available or widgets would be available from other um, you know uh, software makers or from whoever wants to make a widget for Windows and that promise right now is not working so right now the only thing you get is things that Microsoft itself has and to be honest, I find that to be a little crappy as an experience. The other thing is the widgets app was uh, promised to be a app that could take even the full screen. It doesn't, and you, there's no way to change that. Uh, the apps right now, the widgets app is minimal, and I will be fair. Um, I this is not something I'm, I'm going to use unless you can bring me some really useful things in here. The other thing is I'd have the same critique as I would have with Windows 10 News and Interest. The news side of things is crappy because even if you start playing with, I don't want this, I don't want that, you know, like I don't care about Slice TV schnooks, you know, it's like I don't care. Uh, I don't want to see that. Not interested, I Slice TV and so on. As you refresh, as you do all sorts of things with the app, you still have crap coming through, which is all the stuff coming from Bing. So I can't see myself really using this unless third parties start making widgets for Windows. And that, I don't know. Well, give it time as widgets exists. And, uh, well, you could uh, maybe in a year we'll have some other stuff to put in here. But for now, it's um, I would I would call it an almost useless feature of Windows 11. And if you do want to remove the widgets uh, from or the icon of widgets from your uh, you know taskbar, you can't just right click on it. You have to go through right click where there's an empty space. Go to taskbar settings, and your taskbar settings you can actually turn it off. That will remove the widgets icon and give you a little more space for the stuff you want in there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.